Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on normal random variables using the normal distribution function. We're going to use the class Wizz's normal distribution feature which is found within the distribution menu to answer this question. A physicist discovered that the time taken, s seconds, to carry out an experiment can be modelled by a normal random variable with a mean of 142 seconds and a standard deviation of 3.2 seconds and we need to find the following three. So in the first part of the question here, we need to find out the probability that S, our time in seconds, is greater than 144. So press the menu and we want the distribution function, which is seven, so you can either press seven or navigate to distribution. And what we're dealing with here is, well, for the first two parts of the question, A and B, we need to access normal CD, that's normal cumulative distribution for us to be able to answer this, so press 2. And here's where we input the information from the question. Well, if we have a look at the first part of the question, we need to find the probability that S is greater than 144. Uh, so if it's greater than, what we're really saying is that the lower limit that we want to input here is 144. So I'm going to input that here. Now, in order for the class wiz to use the normal distribution function, we need to have an upper limit on there. Now, I would recommend going get at least four standard deviations uh, above your lower limit, although we can basically put a really, really high value in this. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. Um, I'm just going to put in a very high value. I'm going to do nine times 10 to the power of 99. Really, that's so high that any difference between that and basically an infinite upper limit is, is negligible. Uh, so we're really taking that all the way up to the upper limit of the normal distribution. So now we've got sigma, which is our standard deviation. So I'm going to input 3.2. press equals and then we've got mu which is our mean so that is 142 press equals and equals again and here we have our probability it's given as this 0.26598555 and so on I would just give this to four significant figures which reference the previous tables uh, that you used to be able to use to find these probabilities so I would say that's 0.2660 to four significant figures. So there we go, that's the answer to part A. For part B here, we've got to find out the probability that our time in seconds is between 140 and 150. So what I want to do is go back to the input screen. So if you press AC at this point, that takes us back to the input screen. This time our lower limit is 140. Press equals, and then our upper limit is 150. Now, the other two features on there remain the same. We've still got a sigma of 3.2, and we still would have a mean of 142. So if you press equals, it does take you straight to the probability here. And here we have the probability of our S value being in between the range of 140 and 150 seconds. It's 0.72782 to four significant figures. Now, part C says the value of little s to one decimal place such that the probability that s is less than or equal to little s equals 0.25. Now what this question is really asking is if we imagine the normal distribution curve, the total area underneath that curve is equal to the total probability, which is equal to one. And what the question is really asking is what value of s in seconds would we need to have such that the area of probability of having a value of s less than that is 0.25. So essentially it's the quarter, the bottom quarter, or 0.25 of our graph. So essentially what value in seconds, what time in seconds would that be so that we've got a quarter probability of a value lying below that. Now in order to use the calculator to help us with this, we need to change to a slightly different function. So I'm going to press menu and go into distribution mode again. And this time we want inverse normal. This is because we already have a probability of 0.25 and we want to go back and find out a value. So in this case, the number of seconds that would produce that. So we're going to press three in this case. Now notice how it refers to the area. Again, that's the same as the probability uh, the area under the graph, and in this particular question, that's 0.25. 
we want our area to equal 0.25. Now notice how I've still got my sigma and my mu values from inputting them in the normal cumulative distribution, which is very helpful. If for some reason you've gone away and done something else, maybe calculated a different question or you'd reset or cleared, uh, then you would have to just input those again here. But it's quite convenient, we can just flip to inverse normal. Uh, so we've got everything in there. So if I press equals and equals just to confirm that that's the same, then we have our value here in seconds uh, that would give a correct area of 0.25. So the question asks for the value of s to one decimal place. So in this case, it's 139.8. So there we go, how we can use the normal distribution feature on the ClassWiz to answer a question on normal random variables. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on the Calculator Guide.